Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, part four is, uh, is of uh, considerable interest because it has been uh, um, completely amended. Every clause, every line of it is in the version of the bill that I have in front of me is, uh, is a, a tracked version, revised tracked version. Um, it's just important to pause for a moment, I think, Mr. Mr. Chairman, and, um, and I'm working with both the Minister's SOP number 135 and uh, the, the bits of that SOP that relate to part four, uh, plus the bill in its revised track version. Um, it's because this has been a long time um, between games, I'll say. Uh, it's been a long time in the process of working its way through this House. It might be worth just reminding members present just what the New Zealand Heritage List, Rarangi Korero, does and, uh, and its uh, essential purposes. The amended version uh, of this in the, uh, in the, in the bill uh, not contradicted by anything in the uh, SOP, as far as I can tell. But the, the essential purpose, uh, purposes of the New Zealand Heritage List, Rarangi Korero, are to inform members of the public about historic places, about historic areas, uh, Wahi Tupuna, Wahi Tapu, um, and Wahitapu areas. In other words, those areas that are sacred have some historic significance uh, that have some ancestral connection and, uh, and are sacred because they may be uh, uh, burial places or of similar uh, um, spiritual and significant importance to, uh, to Māori and to those who live near them. But it's also to notify the owners of uh, historic places and historic areas and all of those others I've just mentioned as needed um, for the purposes of this Act and to be a source of information about these places. So the New Zealand Heritage List becomes a register of those places that are of critical um, historical and um, national significance. Mr. Mr Chairman, I don't think it's overstating the issue to say that these are important to New Zealand's identity uh, in the same way that um, uh, tikanga Māori, uh, taha Māori are important to my identity as a New Zealander. So even though I may be Pākehā, my relationship with Māori uh, defines me as a New Zealander because I am uh, nowhere else in the world so uniquely located as here with Māori people uh, in, this, in this country. While my heritage may be different from Māori, my current identity, which includes my heritage, uh, is formed by the place where I live and my interaction with the other, uh, with the treaty partner, uh, Tangata Whenua. So, uh, Mr. Mr Chairman, Wahi Tapu, the New Zealand Heritage List that contains uh, the recognised areas of significance are fundamentally important to the way we move on this land and the way we see ourselves in relation to it. And the protection and the recognition of that list is, uh, is, is critically important to our national identity. It is not possible to overstate this. While I may be labouring the point somewhat, Mr Chairman, it is not possible to overstate this. The Minister will know from his assiduous work on treaty negotiations and the, uh, the hui uh, that he has attended up and down the country 
The celebrations, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Ann Street. The celebrations, the commemorations. Uh, the functions of one kind or another that he has had the privilege of attending on many, many marae around the country, he will understand uh, the emotional and spiritual significance for Māori of the, the places of historical, cultural and ancestral significance. So in this part, part four, which ranges from clauses 63 to 81, uh, I think uh, what we are trying to achieve in this House is the greatest um, legislative accolade, I suppose, the greatest legislative acknowledgement of, uh, of the importance of these places to the identity of Aotearoa New Zealand. They become important not just because they're important to Māori, but they become important because we move across the land together. And that, uh, that is part of our national identity. I commend this bit in particular, Mr Chairman, to the House. I call the Honourable Member Catherine Delahunty. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. I'm pleased to take a call on part four and also